After the release of Madness at the Darkmoon Fair, we saw the first ever Hearthstone mini set. But what would it be like if the expansion before that also had a mini set? If you've ever asked yourself that question, you've come to the right place. Welcome to the seventh episode of Mini Set Miracles, a series where I go back to each older Hearthstone expansion and imagine what the mini set would look like. In today's episode, I'll be sharing all the cards I've made for a mini set for Kobolds and Catacombs. You might recall how Kobolds and Catacombs told us about an underground lair and all the treasures an adventurer could find there, but there was always a hint that something darker lurked below. In this mini set, the adventurers have now dealt with all the kobolds in the lair, dealt further underground and dealt with King Tarkwaggle, and they are now moving even further below to uncover the true darkness that lies beneath the catacombs. The name of this mini set is Deeper and Darker. I've made many new cards for this video, but before we look at those, I'll just very quickly explain the rules in case this is your first time watching. This miniset would release to standard Hearthstone today, with modern keywords and cards for all 11 classes. The plan is also that the entire Kobolds and Catacombs main set would get re-released to standard alongside this miniset, probably with some balance changes, but those won't be in this video. Now that's out of the way, let's look at one of the miniset's four legendaries, Togwaggle Jr. for Rogue. Yep, I strong! Since Kobolds and Catacombs was the expansion that introduced secrets to Rogue, I figured it only makes sense to give Rogue a secret-based legendary. Togwaggle Jr. is a 4-mana 3-3 legendary minion that allows you to discover a mage, hunter and paladin secret when played. No ask where I got it! Jr. will then set the cost of the 3 secrets to 2 and mask them as Rogue secrets. This means that they will appear as Rogue secrets to your opponent and they won't know which one you played. Kobolds and Catacombs introduced the Recruit keyword, which would summon a minion from your deck. The Deeper and Darker mini set would of course also introduce a couple more cards that feature this keyword. But Deeper and Darker would also introduce a sort of opposite to Recruit. You might remember how the Whispanks Workshop expansion had the Miniaturize keyword and then its mini set introduced the Gigantify keyword. Well, my mini set would also introduce a new keyword. Instead of recruiting a minion, in Deeper and Darker you can make a minion DESSERT! No, not that type of dessert. There are horrible things this deep underground that would send anyone fleeing, and so this new dessert keyword would shuffle a minion back into its owner's deck, fleeing from the battleground. And just like Gigantify was to its mini set, Dessert would be exclusive to the Deeper and Darker mini set. Take a card like this new Lesser Darkness. This 5 mana 3 6 neutral demon will make an enemy minion Dessert by sending it to your opponent's deck. Many of the classes would get access to cards with Dessert. There's also this card which features both the Recruit and the Dessert keyword. The thing that ate your friend. The thing that Age of Friend is an 8 mana 7 7 legendary minion for Death Knight with a blood and unholy room. It has taunt and will make an enemy minion desert when played. Then when it dies, it will recruit a minion from your deck. This minion basically tells an entire story by itself. I also made a payoff to the desert keyword. The source of the darkness below the catacombs. Ulganeth the Darkness. The darkness rises. Ulganeth is a 4 mana 4 4 neutral legendary minion that will make a minion desert when played. Then, if at least 5 enemy minions have deserted this game, Ulganeth will gain plus 16 plus 16, making him a 20 20 minion. Surrender! Kobolds and Catacombs introduced a new side mechanic called Unidentified Items, which were a card that would gain one of four different effects when it entered your hand. I figured this mini set would expand on this mechanic by giving a couple more classes an unidentified item, such as this new unidentified scroll for Druid. Unidentified scroll is a 3 mana spell that will give you an empty mana crystal when cast, but it will also gain one of four additional effects once it enters your hand. It could become the Refreshment Scroll, which will give you an empty mana crystal and then refresh two mana crystals. 
Or it could become Battle Scroll, which will give you an empty mana crystal and also give your hero plus 3 attack this turn. It could also become Nature Scroll, which will gain an empty mana crystal and then summon a 2-2 Treyarch. Finally, it could become the Channeling Scroll, which will give you two empty mana crystals. Aside from its new keyword and side mechanics, Cobalt and Catacombs also introduced something else to Hearthstone. Legendary Weapons. Each class got a powerful legendary weapon they could use, and the last card I made for the Deeper and Darker mini set would support these weapons. Presenting Rathion Black Prince. The moment we have prepared for is at hand. Rathion is a 4 mana 4 5 neutral legendary minion that would draw a legendary weapon when played, but if your deck has none, Rathion will let you discover a legendary weapon from any class. That's it for all the cards I've made, but I mentioned at the start of the video that the entire Kobolds and Catacombs main set would get re-released to standard, but they would probably need some balance changes to fit into modern decks. If you're interested in seeing what new versions of those cards could look like, you should check out Cloudstone Gaming and their If Kobolds and Catacombs released in 2023 video. The video gives a lot of the Kobolds and Catacombs cards a much needed update. And while it was made for 2023, I think the changes are still viable in 2024. I'll leave a link to the video in the description below. Well, that's all I had for you today. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing for more custom Hearthstone content. And I'll see you next time.